Okay, our first example is using interrupt to um, um, to um, actually when and the way this one works is uh, once we press the button, the LED come on, and when we release the button, the LED goes off, and that's an event interrupt. So let me run the call so we can see how this works. Uh, okay. All right, as you can see, when I press the button, the LED come on. When I release the button, uh, when I release the button, the LED come off. If I press it, depend where I press it, the falling, the the rising and falling edge, and the LED might might stay on if I press it on the wrong. So, as you can see, it works. It, it does what it's supposed to do, all right? And uh, this is the call. Okay, the second the second example is to toggle the LEDs. So the state of every time that you press the button, it will change the state of the LED. As we can see, a press is on. If I press, it's off. Press is on, off, all right? All right, so that is working properly. Okay, on the on the third sample, we're gonna we're gonna use interrupt applications to um to see how the LED start blinking uh, on its own and it start blinking once we we press a button. As you can see, the LED is blinking on its own. And now to stop the LED from blinking, we'll press the button again and the LED is stop. All right. Thank you. Now um we um we took example number three and modified the code to add we add another button to control the LED, which is a blinking LED. So we can operate it from both from either button now. We can Turn it off over here. Start it over here again. And turn it off right here. Okay, the last um, experiment on this lab is to uh, add the second LED and um, have each button control the on LED. LED. So as you can see, I have one LED connected to this button. So this one control one LED can turn it on, on and off. And the other button turn the other LED on and off also. All right, so that was the second part of this experiment.